Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have some primitive decor, easy flips for you, thrift flips, and I also bought a secondhand Cricut. Or maybe third hand, actually, because it's gone through a few people. But anyway, it's just a simple one, and I'm going to just play around with it. And I wanted to show you my very first Cricut project. So this first one is just a cute little shelf uh, with a little pocket in the front. And it's a nice color, but I wanted to give it a more rich color. So I took my antique wax that I had watered down. I used just a relish or pickle jar. And I take a whole bottle of the antique wax and a whole bottle of water. I just use the same jug. And then I add maybe a teaspoon to a tablespoon of black paint, depending on how dark I want it. And I mix it together really well. And it makes this dark, beautiful stain that I just love. It gives it such a rich color. So I did the whole thing all over. And you just saw that. So uh, it just, just gives it a little bit of a darker color. It didn't change it a whole lot. And then I took a piece of sandpaper and just sanded the edges down to give it a more worn look like it's been around for a while. I cut down a piece of, what is this stuff, floral foam that I got from, who knows, it could have been Dollar Tree, it could have been Michael's, who knows. But uh, anyway, wherever you can find floral foam for inexpensive is, I like to have some on hand, so it's always good. Uh, also, I love to have the Spanish moss around. I use it a lot in my projects, and I just love how it can hide things like this foam. It has the uh, spaces in between the slats, and I just tucked it down in there to kind of hide that floral foam, and it worked really well. I was contacted by a company called Temu, T-E-M-U, and I don't have any information on anything just yet, but they are sending me some stuff. But before I did an order with them uh, through the affiliation, I went on and ordered some stuff that I thought was interesting that I wanted to show you right away. So this one is a silicone mold of a bird. I actually ordered both. There's two, and they were only like $2 a piece. They're not super huge, but they add a lot to your projects. So I wanted to show you how I use these, and I'll have a link down in the description to them so that you can purchase them if you want as well. Now you can use silicone or clay probably, which I haven't used yet. Uh, I just used hot glue, and I filled it up and I've used it a few times here before I did this video. And I noticed that it does have air bubbles if you don't get them into like the wings and the tail area and the little beak sometimes doesn't come out. But it's still super cute and I wanted to show you what I did with it to add to this wall pocket. And I think it came out really cute. So I used a skewer and kind of uh, pushed the hot glue down in where I saw the little air pockets and you can kind of see them because they're a little bit of a different color. And I then I just filled it all the way to the top and I let it sit. It dries, well, probably about 20 minutes or so it takes. I, I just did other projects while I waited so I didn't time it like right to the T but I think about 20 minutes would be good. It's a lot of glue all in one place. So here you can see then I just squeeze it and it kind of loosens up that silicone that's around it and it's stretchy, so you just pull it right off, and I was worried I might rip it, but it actually is very good quality. It works really well. So this is the two birds. This one kind of sits up a little bit, and then the other one looks like it's laying down like in a nest, and I got a little bit of uh, Spanish moss in there somehow, and uh, I was just showing you that. I thought it was funny. So it's going to be painted, so you're never going to see it anyway, but uh, I just used the tip of my hot glue gun to make it, uh, to melt it just a little bit, make it soft. And then I took a piece of a skewer I had, that I had painted earlier and I stuck it in there to make it easier to paint my bird. Uh, now you don't have to paint it if you want. You could just keep it the color that it is or you could paint it whatever you want. Uh, but I'm doing the black, of course. And that's just gonna be my base color so that I can add something over the top. This is a small little sample bottle of Fusions Metallic. This is copper. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fingers 
and rub it on to the dried paint on my little bird. And then I'll take a different finger and I'm just uh, rubbing it back and kind of smudging it and, and smearing it on to make it look just antiqued and old. And I still wanna see that black through there. That's what gives it the old vintage color, kind of distressed. So after I get it all around, I think he came out so cute. It does every once in a while have the little air pocket, little bubble, and you'll see that, but I just put a little paint in there and it works out really well. So um, it, it's just a little divot that you find. So I have a little sprig of this, these pit berries, it's the burgundy and mustard with some rusty stars on it. And I'm just taking my skewered birds, I did uh, three of them, and I'm just gonna add them to my little project here. Um, I think they add a lot to it. And I really like the way they look and the vintage feel that they give. I think this is supposed to be a replica candle mold maybe and but I, I'm sure it was just made for decor and I was looking around for some little glass cups to put in there to put some candles in and I decided I was going to try and do something different because I could never find either the right size or what I liked in there I just didn't care for it I want to do something different my own my own decor so I got it for $2 at Goodwill, and it's been sitting around for a while here. So I decided I would take my antique stain that I make up with the water and black paint mixed together and just give it a little bit of a darker look. It doesn't change it a lot, but it does kind of tone down those stars and just it makes it look a little less... I don't know, uh, campy. I don't know what the actual word I want is, but I just like it. It just looks a little nicer. So I'm taking some floral foam and I'm going to stuff them down in the holes and uh, just, I think I glued those in too. And then um, my Spanish moss, put that, glued that right on the top over the foam so that it would uh, cover that up really nicely. And once I get done with all of that, I use some of my grubby candles that I make on my own. If you're interested in how I make those grubby candles, I don't make the candles, but I grubby them up myself uh, with my own special spice mix. And I really love how they come out. And if you don't seal them, they smell terrific. So I will leave a link down in the description on if you're interested, if you haven't seen it and you're interested in doing it yourself. They really add a lot to projects. So I just turned those on and added those two and gave my Spanish moss a little haircut and here's how it came out. So I mentioned I bought a secondhand Cricut machine. It's an older one, it's the Expression, I believe. And I decided just to play around with it with this tile that I found at my local dump. Uh, I picked it up because it was a nice big piece and I thought this would be fun to try. And I just had it cut out the prim, word prim, just to try it. And I used the negative space, which would be just like a stencil and stencil it with black paint added a star, some twine, and uh, some homespun material, and I think it came out pretty good. What do you think for my very first Cricut try? I found this strange little basket at Goodwill for, I think it was $4. I like the shape of it. I thought I liked the color of it, but looking at it, it's got a lot of damage to it. And so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it, and I don't even really know what it is for. I tried looking it up and I can't bring anything up. So if anybody knows, let me know. Uh, I'm assuming maybe a plant. I don't know. Uh, so I tried my 
darkening stain with the wax and the water and the paint to see if it would go over those spots where it's chipped off but it didn't really do a very good job and looking at it I'm not really happy with the basket it kind of looks dirty not distressed or vintage but just dirty so I'm taking some of my burgundy chalk paint just gonna put some of that all over it and that covers up all the boo-boo spots now a little tip that I'll give you that I do when I do these sometimes when I'm just kind of practicing or kind of figuring out what I want to do. I'll do stuff on the bottom of the project because I know that if I mess it up really badly I can just kind of cover it up because it's sitting down. Uh, but I wanted to try the just putting on my darkening stain over the burgundy once it was dry. And because it's chalk paint it was reactivated by just being wet and it started to bring back that other color, which was more of a red than the burgundy, and I didn't really care for it. So I took this Rust-Oleum Clear sealer and I sprayed the whole basket and sealed it right up with it and then let it dry. So now I can go ahead and put my, uh, my stain on there to give it a little bit of a vintage aged look and then wipe it back and it shouldn't take off a bunch of the paint which it didn't there were a few spots where it did and you can see here the difference of the bottom how dark it is to the burgundy I really like it it gives it a deep color and it gives it a little bit of an aged look and not such a bright burgundy color which I don't mind either but um, you know we're just playing around seeing what we can what we can do with these so I let it dry and styled it and it's all done I hope you enjoyed my projects today. Let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite. Don't forget to check out the video on grubby and candles and the link to the bird molds. They're so cute. You're gonna love them if you get them. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description below as well and you will find these products down in there if you're interested in buying them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.